Hello and welcome to this Google Sheets tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to quickly remove duplicates from a data set in Google Sheets. Here I have this data set where I have the country and their GDP numbers and you can see there are duplicates in this data for United States I have it here then I also have it here I also have it somewhere here uh, France I have it here and then I also have it here so you can see there are duplicate entries now there are two really easy methods to do, to remove duplicates in Google Sheets the first one is to use the inbuilt remove duplicates option so I would select this entire data set I would go to the data tab here and I have this option called remove duplicates and when I click on it it opens this remove duplicates box now in this case First of all, I would check my data has header row because it does. So I do not want my header row to be counted while the duplicates are being removed. And then it asks me whether you want to select all the columns when you want to analyze this data and remove duplicates or you want to specifically select columns. Now in this case, let's first select all the columns and click on remove duplicates. And as soon as I do this, it says six duplicate rows found and removed and I can click OK. So this is my data set where you can see none of these countries and the GDP combinations would repeat. Let me press Control Z to go back. So now this is one way of doing it. The other method within the remove duplicates option is when you do not want to remove the duplicates based on the record. So in this case, I have United States and the GDP number is 21.41 this entire record has to repeat for it to be considered a duplicate. So here you can see this row and this row are exactly the same. But if in this case, if I come back here and I change this to 21.42, and now if I select this data, I go back to data, remove duplicates, and now remove these duplicates, you would see that only five have been removed. Earlier it was six. So you can see I have United States here and I have United States here because now this is not a unique record. The numbers here are different. So it is not going to remove it. So if you want to remove duplicates where you want to remove all the duplicate records and keep the, only, the unique ones, you select all the columns. On the other hand, you can also only remove data based on a specific column. So for example, let's say I want to remove all the records for United States irrespective of the GDP number. So I would go back here to data, click on remove duplicates. And in this case, I would check on my data has header and I would remove this option and only select column A and see what happens when I click on remove duplicate, you can see here, the GDP numbers are still different for these countries, United States. The first instance, it's 21.41 and then it's 21.42. And now when I click on remove duplicate, it removes all the instances of United States except the first one. So it only considered column one while removing the duplicates. So if you want to find out and remove duplicate records, then select all the columns. If you want to go by column wise, uh, let's say for only country and not by GDP, then you choose the column based on which you want to remove the duplicate. Let me press Control Z to go back to the original data. The other method that you can use to remove duplicates is by using the unique function where you simply type unique here and you select this data. And that's it. You hit enter. It is going to automatically remove all the duplicate records and give you the right result. The good thing with unique function is that this is dynamic, which means that this is dependent on the original data. So if I come back here and I change the original data, this is going to change. So here you can see United States repeats two times because these two data entries are different. But if I come back here and I make this 21.41, now this record becomes a duplicate. So see what happens? It's removed from this data. Or if I come back here and I make it instead of United States, I make it US. You can see this entry appears here. So with the unique function, you get the result which automatically updates in case there are changes in the original data set. So these are two simple methods that you can use to quickly remove duplicates in Google Sheets. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Google Sheets tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.